So we have a lot of backgrounds in Create Studio, and some of them are layered. So there's groups, and you can put characters in between items. But not always, and it's sometimes hard to find them. So sometimes you might want to have some character walk out behind a building or not be seen. Like in this, it would be going down the hallway. And you can take it out and remove some backgrounds and all of that or whatever. But why make more work for yourself? It's really easy with masking. So let me show you with the school one. I'm just going to go up here, put in my search term, and here is the one I used. First, it's not expanded, so I'm going to expand it to the whole canvas. I actually blew it up a little bit, and you already know how to do this. If you've seen some of my tutorials, I'm just going to detach the mask and crop it so I don't have all that extra in there. Space bar, move up, space bar, move down, and there we go. All right, so yeah. why did it? Seems like when I do the tutorials, I somehow mess up that bottom one. All right, I move it instead of crop it. So here, all I'm going to do is let's just grab the skateboarder. He's in 3D characters. I'm just going to put in team because I know that's what he's called. I'm going to put him on here, grab his skateboarding action. Clearly he's too big. So I'm going to crop him down. And I want to make sure he looks okay on the, on the ground. He's still kind of tall because he's hitting the ceiling. So I'm going to put him down a little bit more. Now that I have him where I want him, he might still be kind of big, but we can change that. Now that I have him where I want him, I'll expand it a little bit. I'm just going to use my shift and arrow key to move him just so I don't get him off that line that I had. If I clicked and dragged, I'd make a mistake. Now I'm going to add an animation of linear position. My end keyframe is where he's going to end up. So I'm going to select that, shift and my right arrow key, just so he stays on a level line. And now we see him skateboard in the halls and we don't like that. That's not a good thing, but that's okay. Now, all I'm going to do is get a square and I'm just going to mask. So all he does is go in the open area. So I'm going to zoom in so that I make sure that I'm right where the locker ends. My space bar to move over. Release my space bar, and of course, he's in the way. And I think that's good. So now what I need to do is I always have to group any character or anything with any animations, because if I don't, the animations won't work. I'll show you. See what happens? It just, it messes up the animation. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. Now I'm going to group my skateboarder. Then I'm going to select both a mask. And there he goes. Now he moves. We can make him delay a minute. Now, if you want other ones to ha to go in like I did, because I had a few of the characters in there, all you have to do is, I'm going to unmask it, just add the characters you want and have them do, I'm just going to grab what I have first, and I'm going to rescale her. I'm going to put walking. I'm going to disable the beginning the starting and the ending animation. 
I'm going to put her the duration of, well, it can be longer. Actually, she's going to start walking first. I am going to place her where I think I want her, resize her. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. We have walking. You're going to make sure that she's where you want her to be at an animation of position. Linear. Go to your end keyframe. Move with the shift and arrow key. Now you don't have to group each one of them individually. You can just select all the characters you have. Command G for group, select both, mask, and here we go. She walked kind of fast, but you can always fix that. Um, I wasn't being too particular as I was showing you. You're going to make the timings whatever you want them to be. Oh, that was mine. Although I do have this error because I didn't move her to the right. So I'm going to shift an arrow key and move her so she's not starting in the scene. And let's see. There we go. That's better. And the only thing to know about this one is it's the same thing. Let me show you what's in that group. I'll. Um, I'll open the group. I have my two characters walking just like I did those two characters, but you can already see when I select it, you can see my mask is, is angled and that's because the building is angled. So it's the same process, but I have to just make sure I go in and I set my mask so that we don't have a gap. So I would do it like that. I always give myself some extra room because it doesn't really matter. I don't want to cut off their feet. And then I usually might do a little nudge by using the arrow to make sure I'm getting right to the end. And that's too much because now I can see the gap. So I'd go one to the left and that looks pretty good. Maybe one more. So that's how I do the angled one. So I hope that helped and, you, and will help you with some scenes that you want to make with walking on our backgrounds that only have one layer. Have fun.